All right, guys, I'm back. So I can see, uh, I hope that you can see this thing very clearly on your screens, all right? So now here, this is a list of conjunction words, all right? This is the list of the conjunction words, all right? The, 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 the final part is missing from here. I'm going to show that in another slide, all right? So uh, check this out. The first one are coordinating conjunctions. And the easiest way to remember the coordinating conjunction is by, you know, remembering this acronym, which is fanboys. Now, what is an acronym? An acronym uh, is a kind of a word which is made uh, out of several different words using their first letter and combining the, all of them as a spelling. So, for example, F for four, A for and, N for nor, B for but, O for O, Y for yet, S for so. So in, let's say in total, it makes, uh, in, in combined, it makes the word fanboys. That's how you remember. Uh, it's kind of a little, little small, let's say, trick to remember the coordinating conjunctions, all right? Now the second one, now the second one, so, so, so in the IELTS speaking, as well as in the writing exam, it's preferred that you use these conjunctions because when you're going to use more and more conjunctions, the, the evens and the odds that are that you will be making more and more sentence structures, different sentence structures, without even thinking, without even, let's say, remembering that how a sentence structure is even made, okay, how it's even formed, how it's even created, okay, by remembering them. Now, the second one is correlative conjunctions. Now, what are correlative conjunctions? Correlative conjunctions are the one conjunction, are the words which are said to be said in pairs. For example, both and, whether or, not only, but also, I not only play hockey, but I also play cricket. Either you go there or I'm going to come with you and take you there. Okay? Not only, but also, or neither or nor. Neither you are going to their party or nor I will go to meet with them at their home. But whatever sentences you can make. Okay? I'm just making some really not stupid sentences. But just to give you an example that uh, how one can really make these sentences and use these sentences. All right? Uh, now... Uh, then we have the subordinating conjunctions, all right? Uh, now, in the subordinating conjunctions, there are a lot of words which could be the fam which can be from the family of subordinating conjunctions. So the, the 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 point here is, guys, that you really don't need to remember all of them. I mean, like if you do, that's that's really a good thing. That means that your guy you guys are going for an extra mile, but not really necessary to remember all of them. But as you can see here, a couple of examples: now, since, unless, while, before, why. Supposing, uh, then we have the words like if, when, where, wherever, whereas, where if, whether, since, because, whose, whosoever, whoever, unless, while, a lot of them, the subordinating conjunctions, all right? So I hope that you guys are clear with the coordinating conjunctions, correlative conjunctions, and subordinating conjunctions, all right? Now the last one will be the conjunctive adverbs, and then... We are going to come back to the complex sentence structures and the compound complex sentence structures, all right? Okay, guys, so uh, any questions in three of these conjunction types? No, no questions. Okay, so I will consider that that it's clear to all of you that you all understand that what are these the three different types of conjunctions here, all right? And in order to improve your vocabulary, so you see, guys, uh, these conjunctions, uh, one, one more plus point I would like to tell you that you might think that, you know, then... Uh, what, what is this kind of, let's say, thing that uh, you really need to memorize a lot of vocabularies as well, right? But uh, let's say for, for now that uh, you can also improve your vocabulary by remembering these conjunctions as well because the more and more uh, different sentence structures you use, the, 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 the more evens and the odds, the more evens are that you're going to be using more different different words in order to express your thoughts in order, order to make your sentences, all right? So, even though by using these conjunctions, your score in vocabulary can also increase. And as well as in the grammar as well. So yeah, now talking about the conjunctive adverbs. But before I talk about the conjunctive adverbs, let's look at a little bit uh, uh, literature here regarding to the conjunctions, all right? So now first, uh, we have the literature here regarding to the coordinating conjunctions, all right? So first, the conjunctions, uh, it connects the words or a group of words to each other. There are four different kinds of conjunctions, coordinating conjunctions, correlative conjunctions, subordinating conjunctions, and conjunctive adverbs, as we have been studying, uh, just studied about the coordinating, conjunct, uh, con, uh, correlative, subordinating, and now we're going to read, uh, try to understand the conjunctive adverbs here as well. So, for example, uh, coordinating conjunctions must connect the same parts of speech, uh, two or more nouns, pronouns, verbs, adjectives, prepositions, uh, conjunctions, phrases, or clauses. 
Now, just don't, let's say, confuse yourself with this definition, whatever I've just told you before. Uh, let's keep yourself until that, okay? Uh, a couple of examples here. A strong but warm breeze blew across the desert. So here are two adjectives used. I don't know why they're telling about the adjectives, but not really, not really necessary to remember. As it's saying that it is the one which joins the different two adjectives, right? Please print or type the information on the application form. Her arguments were easy to ridicule, yet hard to refute. Two phrases of equal importance, easy to ridicule, uh, ridicule and hard to refute. Note how the two linked words in the following sentences are not the same parts of speech. He was angry and a dwarf. The sentence is awkward because angry is an adjective and a dwarf is a noun. Thus, they are incompatible. So let's not confuse ourselves with these uh, complex definitions, but you do, do got the idea. Now, correlative conjunctions. Correlative conjunctions join equal elements, parts of speech or phrases. Both Bechtel and Kayser submitted bids on the project. Maisha not only sent a card, but also visited me in the hospital. And here are a couple of uh, correlative conjunctions. Now, of course, guys, there, there could be even more as well, okay, regarding to the correlative, subordinating, as well as the conjunctive adverbs, okay? But th those you can research on your own on the internet, okay, uh, on Google, and there are a couple of different websites as well. I've been sharing a couple of with you in our group as well. But here's how you can, let's say, uh, find even more examples. Now, subordinating conjunctions. Now, subordinating conjunctions introduce adverb clauses and signal and signal the relationship between the adverb clause and another clause, usually an independent clause. Now, of course, this is not a, a, a deep, let's say, grammar uh, lecture that we're conducting here, or let's say grammar class. It's just an IELTS writing class. So to just to give you an example, we're not going to go deep into the meanings. And here are a couple of examples of subordinating clauses, though we just saw even more examples than this, okay? Now that's important. Now this is important. Conjunctive adverbs. These are very important in order to uh, make your uh, complex sentence and uh, your compound complex uh, sentences as well. Now conjunctive adverbs connect two sentences. They explain how the first sentence relates to the second. They can be considered both adverbs and conjunctions. Now they are both adverbs and conjunctions because they modify the second clause and connect the second clause to the first. See? Clauses. Here they are using the language of clauses, right? Now the conjunctive adverbs are here are the all examples, for example, also, anyway, besides, certainly, finally, furthermore, however, incidentally, you might have heard me saying the word however, okay? And uh, let's say it's not something, let's say, very concrete that you should be remembering uh, all of them. I mean, like, if you are uh, that good in memorizing all of them, so it's uh, one plus for all of you, uh, a kind of leveling up for all of you, but I would say that... Uh, make use some of them five six or seven of them memorize them or maybe let's say ten of them that you can use uh without any hurdle like without any wasting time in thinking because remember in the ielts writing tasks too you have 40 minutes okay so uh, for example we have uh, examples like here similarly still then therefore thus undoubtedly nevertheless likewise meanwhile otherwise moreover however, incidentally, and so many of them, right? So uh, I hope this thing is clear to all of you, but now let me show you some more conjunctive adverbs here, all right? So we have more conjunctive adverbs. Uh, the list is in front of you. And uh, of course, we, I will be uploading this video on the YouTube as well, on my YouTube channel as well, in different parts, which will be easier for you to navigate and to, again, listen to the lecture as I've been telling you all, all these things, all right?